What's up, everybody? Today we have the exclusive uh, Batman Beyond from Mezco. This is a part of their 112 collective uh, pose, play, display. Uh, so with the exclusive boxes, they're a little bit smaller than the regular editions. There is no sleeve on it to pull up to just show the figure. So it's smaller. And on the back, there's just a piece of artwork. So there you go. Kind of like a no-frills box. So display base. You have the classic Batman Beyond symbol, which is nice and simple, perfect for this figure. Um, don't need anything more than this. All right, so you can pop out the peg for the armature that comes with the figure. Let's go over, uh, let's show out the figure first. All right, so here we go. Here's Batman Beyond, and we will get back to him. Let's go over the accessories he comes with. So let's start off with the second head. So the first and second head that he comes with is more of a grinning, growly, grunting face. Beautiful uh, detail in it. Now, this is going to be a common theme throughout this video. This is not a cartoon accurate representation of Batman Beyond. This is their interpretation of him. So there's going to be differences. If you're looking for a straight up version of him that looks identical to the cartoon dc collectibles does that for you that basically a spitting image of the of the uh cartoon version anyway you get the secondary head you get three of his batarangs so i'm not gonna pull all three of them out because they're all identical beautiful paint on them that metallic red really pops both on the same sides okay you get two thrusters for his feet, which are done in a clear orange that tapers off, I think, a little bit at the end. So let's take a look at them really quick, see how they pop in. So if you wanted to have him flying or in flight with the boosters, that's how they would look. You get... Set of hands, you always get the fist hands. So that's one fist hand. The other hand in there is the um, Batarang holding hand. So he's get, he has two of them, so if you want to have actually both hands holding Batarangs, you could do it. I think it's very nice that they actually have it. To, it's pretty much designed to hold the Batarang, which is how it should be. And I will take this and put it in his hand when I get to him. So that's the first hand, that's the second hand, the fist. Battering hand, and then if you remember from the cartoon, his hands do have like a bit of a claw like to them. So this is with his hand open and a claw. So great detail to it. Um, you can see that there's like it's almost armor and then his glove. So there you go. All right, so last piece of accessory wise that he comes with are his wings, they are one solid piece. That I will show you how it clips onto the back at the end after we go through the figure. Beautiful paint job. Very striking. Works really well. Okay, so like I said, this is not an accurate representation of the cartoon. This is their own style. So let's go over articulation first. Um, and these things are sharp, by the way. These, uh, these arm gauntlets, so careful. Uh, Heads on a ball joint, necks on a ball is on a joint as well. So they're two separate pieces. Uh, ball joint is shoulders. Elbow is double jointed. Uh, ball jointed wrist. Abs are a little bit of ab crunch, but it's there. Uh, waist is definitely there. Um, hip joint, check. Knee joint is double jointed knee. And ankle. Ball jointed ankle, which is, yeah. So, he has decent amount of range. All these figures, you, you really can't make them into the crazy dynamic pose that you might get with other figures. You don't want to because they are expensive, so you want to be very cautious as to how you manipulate them. The belt seems to ride up a bit on him. I'll give you that much. Uh, 
there is, if you look at him, you can see it's picking up on the light. There's like almost like a circuitry to him, which I think works really well. Uh, as for what's plastic and what's fabric, the, the bodysuit's all fabric. Uh, the boots are all plastic. The arm gauntlets and the hands are plastic. The belt's plastic. This is almost, this is plastic with a metallic finish. Head's plastic. Um, and he's got the backpack, which we haven't gotten to yet, which is also plastic. From a distance, you really can't see much of the melting between the fabric and the plastic. Up close, you can see the difference. As you get closer, you can see where like the fabric goes in, and then there's all plastic up here. It works to some degree. It's not perfect. It's not streamlined. It's always something of pet peeve of mine when they try to do these figures where the fabric goes up to the the bodysuit where like it's supposed to be all seamless his suit is supposed to be all the same color all the same fabric so this might have been a figure that could have taken a page from say uh iron man and been all plastic don't know how that would look but it was just you know i would have loved to have seen what it would look like had they done the entire suit in a plastic look with it being seamless from the neck to the body okay that's just my own personal little gripe. He still is amazing. I still think he's a great look for Batman Beyond. Um, I'll get to that in the final thoughts. All right, so let's do the backpack. The backpack is something different because I know that the figure itself, he's supposed to be all streak, uh, sleek and uh, streamlined. He doesn't have a backpack. Uh, but this version, their representation, how to do the backpack, instead of it just being a peg hole in the back, they decided to have this mechanical backpack looking apparatus which it looks really bulky when it's like this but when you put the wings on which i would think that most of us are going to want to use these wings because that looks awesome if you're keeping the wings in the box i think there might be a problem so you have because classically or typically when you see batman beyond he's got the wings out he's posed he's, he's posed dynamically with a battering in his hand and he just looks impressive. So, yeah, I think that if you're going to display him on your... I don't think anybody's ever displayed him without those wings. And the backpack really doesn't seem to be that bad with the wings on. Okay, yeah, he's on there now. You get the nice battering, like I said. Put the battering in his hand. And voila. You got Batman Beyond. So, I'm a big fan of Batman to Beyond to begin with. I watched the cartoon when it actually aired. Showing my age a little bit. Um, it's a representation of him. I like this representation of him. I think it works really well. Um, he's not for the diehard Batman Beyond fans. But I think that anybody who decides to pick him up will be happy with him. And just the light is catching that little bend in the wing. I thought there was a paint scuff. But no, it's fine. Um... I don't know how hard he is to find as of right now. I think he's sold out on Mezco's site. Um, I don't think he went over too well with the crowd, but I don't understand why. I think he is a he's a he's a different, unique character that you don't have many representations of. I think there might be like four other companies that have done Batman Beyond. So. Um, I think he's worth it. I think if you're looking for a more true to comic and and cartoon version, he's not for you. If you're happy with the fabric plastic ratio and the style of Mezco and you're used to it, I think you'll be very happy with this one and you'll be happy to add him to your collection. So this is pretty much a 50-50 split. This is really not like if you said, oh, I have a friend and I think he would like a Batman Beyond figure. This I would not recommend. I would be like, eh, they could be very picky about it. If this is somebody who's like, I'm a diehard fan, they probably already have it. Uh, overall, I'm happy with him. I pulled him out of the package and I was like, this is cool. I like him. He's he's fun. Um, those arm gauntlets are sharp as hell. Not like they draw blood, but they you can feel that there's pointiness to them. They, they, be careful when you're playing with them that you don't snap them off. They feel very, they don't feel fragile, but they don't feel like you could just be like fiddling with them and not break one of those. So be mindful of that. Don't break those arm gauntlets. Uh, overall, I would, I would definitely say pick them up. In my opinion, I would say pick them up. 
But you know, like I said, you know, it's it's really hard to to gauge whenever Mezco goes off script as it were whenever they decide to make their own little flair to things it gets uh, it gets mixed reviews and this is off script this is a this is their own artistic style to it and this is what you get for it so you know and with like i said with the whole plastic to fabric transition it's always something very 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 hard to do and does it work for him? I think at a distance it does. I think when you get cl up close, it doesn't work as well. Um, like I said, I would have been curious to see how an all-plastic Batman Beyond would look from them. Uh, but this is what we get, and I'm still happy with it. So there you go, guys. Um, there's my input. That's it. I'm out. See ya.